calling all Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're Hello, a true load, fan, you're stop by the memory Better den and talk to Ken before Conley. someone swipes it. The Silver Shroud needs you. Galaxy News! Red Allen at the Radio. Hotel Rex where he can hook you up with chems. Armor. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slave. Hey. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. The whole world's crazy. N -n -n no argument here. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. That sounds familiar. You'd remember him if you heard his show. They're the best detective shows in the whole world. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. So, I'm a time traveler. I just got back from visiting George Washington. Now you're just playing with me. Though that would be pretty neat. You know what would be even neater? What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. You know you're completely nuts, right? Hey now. The guy just loves his comics. If that's crazy, then we're all a little nuts. Worse than insane. This man-child is an idealist. Yeah, has this guy even left this room in the past 200 years? I'm gonna say no. Sadly, that's not the first time I've heard that. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Who's Mr. Abominable? He was a caveman, got frozen in an iceberg from prehistoric times. When they thought him out, he went on a rampage. It took the Shroud and Man-to-Man -Man combined to take him down. Boy, if you just woke up, the world these days must take some getting used to. How did you get used to everything? Mainly I focused on survival. It got real bad after the bombs fell. For a long while, I tried not to think of the good old days. Just too painful. But it's all we got now. So we gotta try and make it better. I got that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Yeah, something like that. Boy, if you just woke up, the world these days must take some getting used to. That's an understatement. Things may look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up, the world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here? We got a ways to go. You know, you should really just speak plain English. It's just that the show, well, it helped me through some pretty tough times, you know? Boy, if you just woke up, the world these days must take some getting used to. This whole commonwealth is a nightmare. Yeah, there's so much crime and violence. What we need is a real hero. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. Saving the day and cleaning up the streets. I like it. Someone's gotta make the world better. I'm not sure I'd pick this guy, though. Oh dear. You aren't thinking of helping this man-child, are you? You do realize he's insane. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, 
I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. <laughs>